Hi, my name is Gerald, and welcome back to another episode of Googling things that you want to know stuff about. Just kidding, what- <laughs> Okay, what's up guys? This is Merc Goes Boom and welcome to the Black Ops 3 season What? Black Ops 3 season 3? What? What am I trying to say? This is season 3 leaks for Black Ops Cold War and Warzone. You guys are gonna want to stick around for this one because there's some pretty cool stuff coming in the Cold War as well as a huge Warzone event happening like next week. I'll be talking about all this. This is pretty much the big one right here. It's a leak of the season 3 weapons for Cold War and Warzone. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's Warzone's fault for leaking the file names of the upcoming guns for season 3. So what we have here is the ART9 Fast Burst, the ME T9 Ballistic Knife, and the SM T9 Spray. What the hell does this mean? Well, well, I'm here to explain that to you. It's a little tricky to say for the assault rifle and the SMG, but it sounds like the assault rifle is going to be a burst assault rifle, and then the SMG is going to be like a fast firing one. It makes me think that the burst rifle could be like the M8A1, and then the fast firing SMG could be like the Scorpion Evo. That's not a definitive guess, those are just examples. But if I'm not mistaken, if we look at the ME T9 ballistic knife, I am pretty sure that's an RPG. <laughs> we got a brand new light machine gun coming to Cold War and Warzone. If you couldn't decipher my sarcasm, it's this. The ballistic knife. This is 100% not the first time that we've seen this move pulled before. <laughs> in fairness, Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 just had the ballistic knife right off the bat. Black Ops 3 had it stowed away in supply drops that you probably never got, and I think Black Ops 4 had it, but I kind of forgot because that game's a blur and I don't like it. Let's just Google this because I'm not sure if there's been other Call of Duty games to like sneak the ballistic knife in. It's been in Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Black Ops Declassified, Caught Online, of course, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4 and Modern Warfare. Wait, what? The ballistic knife appears exclusively as a weapon used during finishing moves. Okay, that's not even... Oh, who cares? That's not... What? Get that out of here. Yo. Ooh, with the karambit, though. The person who leaked all this is saying that the files are usually only added when weapons are in the final stage before release, so it's highly likely that they will arrive in Season 3. And yeah, it makes sense that we can't see what the weapons look like quite yet, but we just have the file name. So what are we really getting here? I mean, we're gonna have a new assault rifle and SMG. At this point, it kind of feels like the new weapons they're adding are really just to kind of mix up the Warzone meta a little bit, kind of change it up. I don't necessarily see if they're gonna add a lot of value to Cold War's multiplayer because it's already so boring, so I don't know. At least it's something new, though. But the ballistic knife is definitely an interesting one across the board. If this thing can insta people in Warzone, even with full armor, that would be hilarious. I really hope that's what they're going for. It'll be fun to use in multiplayer, no doubt, but I think it will also be really good in zombies. I can't wait to use this thing in Outbreak with Ring of Fire, just like shooting unlimited shots, and being able to keep the knife will be pretty helpful as well. So I'm looking forward to that. All right, Gerald, let's switch to our next Google tab. <laughs> okay, so on this <laughs> next page, this article article kind of covers more of the new stuff coming to Warzone. There's going to be a live event on the 21st. Yeah, season three, I think for both games is going to be going live on the 21st at 12 p.m. Pacific time. They're saying there's always a slim chance it could be pushed back. Oh, please no. The last delay occurred when the Cold War integration happened. Well, I mean, that was huge though. Unless this is going to be some kind of massive event, I don't think it'll get pushed back, but you never know. I do want to say in advance that I'm hoping to stream the Warzone live event, so make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications. The last time Warzone had a live event, it was personally my biggest stream ever. I think we had like 20, 25,000 viewers. It was absolutely incredible, and I thank you guys so much for the support on that stream. But what's so hype about Season 3 for Warzone coming up is that there's going to be a new map. At least, you know, it might be. Now, in fairness, if this is a brand new map, it could take some time. So maybe it'll get delayed. We'll just have to wait and see. The latest leaks have revealed the new map coming to Warzone is actually an 80s version of Verdansk. Oh, I was kind of hoping it'd be something cooler than that. But We've known for some time now that the developers want to synchronize the timelines between the Cold War campaign, Zombies, and Warzone. It looks like the impending nuke event is going to send Verdansk back in time, finally bring the battle royale mode in line with the other modes so they're gonna nuke the map and that's gonna somehow take it back in time what is anyone following this how what i don't think it would be a nuke maybe a time machine but really we're gonna nuke the map into the 80s i uh what is that gold star for vonderhaar hopefully it's just a brand new map i mean can we get a new map how many maps does PUBG have nowadays what the fuck how many maps does PUBG have is it just these four I mean, that's still that's still a lot more. I don't even play PUBG. <laughs> Again, I'm not a big Warzone guy, but it'll be pretty cool to check out. You special since Cold War is so boring. I fucking hate that game. JK lol. Oh, there's actually more stuff. Upcoming Warzone vehicles. They found some more stuff in the files. It says like, enter Big Bird, police car, box truck, medical transport, pickup truck, van, personnel transport. These are all potentially new vehicles that could be coming with the brand new map. They expect it to be vehicles that are reskinned versions of the already existing vehicles. Okay, I mean, that's like... Kind of whatever. Actual brand new vehicles would be way better than just reskins, but hey. If they're planning to just nuke the map and then reskin it into an 80s version, what else are we gonna expect? That's as good as it's gonna get. I think it'd be kind of cool if they added some of like the boats from Cold War or something, or like the dirt bikes, I don't know. A Cold War vehicle integration to Warzone would actually be pretty dope. Call of Duty Warzone Season 3 New Mode. What do we got? The Season 2 Reloaded update revealed that there may be a new mode heading to Warzone called Palo. Is this like Palo? What is this, like Overwatch? Similar to other FPS games, it typically brings together two teams to push the opposing side back into their base. Given the size of Verdansk, we'd expect the team sizes to be a minimum of 50 players, if not more. Wow, that'd be crazy. What this kind of makes me think of, 
and uh, this would actually be an insane idea if they ever did it, but it makes me think of playing like a hundred player game of war from World of War. Except war in World of War was more based off of trying to fight over a flag and getting momentum for capturing the flag based off of how many kills your team gets and how long you've been on the objective. This will probably be a little bit different because the payload should move back and forth. But this right here, payload, that actually sounds like a pretty cool addition. I'd like to play that. I think that's pretty much it for our Google articles. I don't think there's currently any other season three leaks at the time of recording this, but let me know what you guys think about the leaks so far. It's definitely some pretty interesting stuff. I'm looking forward to the ballistic knife, I think, the most out of all of these because we don't really know what the other two guns are going to be exactly. So it's not quite as hype. Got anything new in the store? What is the Corpse collector. Oh my. Come on, load it. Let's see it. What the beck is that? <laughs> oh, we got a new finishing move. Oh. You can summon the plague hound on him? Oh shit. <laughs> and you get the doom hammer. <laughs> bonk. 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 <laughs> I will not be buying this now. Pretty cool though. Pretty nice bundle. Field general. What the? What did they do to Adler? What is that hair? Actually, to be fair, it's not. It's not that far off from mine. <laughs> Widow P gang. We have. Okay, that's pretty. Whatever. They got a frog bundle. I would totally buy this, but I don't have enough cod points. <laughs> All right, let's just shut up and play the game. <laughs> I want to make some like garbage class and just goof around. We're going to make the worst build that I can of this thing. I've lowered the speed as much as I possibly can. Like the sprint to fire time is like half a second. The ADS time is almost a whole ass second, dude. Yeah. Oh my God. The ADS time is almost a whole second. You can probably make it worse. I don't have all the attachments quite yet because I absolutely dread using this thing. But yeah, let's go check this out online. They don't have snipers only right now, which is kind of a bummer. I'll just do Nuketown. I'm fully aware that you can actually make this sniper more usable, but I've done the exact opposite. Hi, how are you? Oh my, this is a dude with a hammer. He's got the doom hammer. They flipped. Oh god. Whoa, got him. Uh, there's no way. <laughs> Can at least hit a trick shot. This thing's got a pretty good hit fire though. Check it out. Face boost was hit. I bet you could actually hit some pretty nice doinklies with this thing. I want to hit this doinkly boinkly. Come on. What was that? The gun wasn't ready. It was too slow. The guy ran in the building before I could even aim on him. Like. I got bonked. I got fucking bonked. Purple bonked, dude. This is embarrassing. Come on. Oh, what is that animation, dude? The gun's like floating out of my hands because it's so fucking heavy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Feed time. Oh, boy. That's my trick shot. No. How did I miss that? Come on. What? Hey. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> What the fuck was that? Oh, hello again. <laughs> this is the best gun ever. Strongest, most OP sniper we've ever seen in a Call of Duty. Right, now's the time to hit the trick shot. The hard points in the middle. Come on. Do it. Oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm the worst in here, but I hit a trick shot. It's disconnected. Oh my god, yo. I can't believe I just hit that garbage trick shot. Let's go. I made face boost proud. Oh my, that would have been so humiliating. Say hi to the guy, then trick shot him. Oh my god. My dude almost just said yo, then hit a trick shot. That's like the most phase boost thing I've ever seen in my life. Just clicks the hello button. Yo. Ouch. Ouch, fire hurt. Ouch. Get smacked. This is the best quick scoping gun ever. Makes the intervention with sleight of hand look like an obese whale. This gun's just so fast. That's right! It takes a century to actually get the second shot going, so I just threw the axe. Get out of there. <laughs> you little Chad. CDL skin. Stands for Chad Douche Lamo. Yeah, <laughs> take that, Chad. <laughs> Shut down the war machine with the best gun ever. I take it back. Death machine spinning up. Are you fucking kidding? I can't believe we lost that. I went 25 to 37. That's basically spot on for this thing. I didn't even do the challenge for long shots. Oh my god. Free fired by SMG. Ooh, clad. Shit, nice. Can't follow it up. I would love to actually hit a quad with this thing, but it, it's gonna be really hard. <laughs> I shot his fucking toe, dude. I'm in some crazy shit right now, man. I'll take the cross map, hell yeah. Oh, that was just rude. I got the death machine. I better use it now since there's no chance. Uh, I, ever, why can't I use the death machine ever? I was somehow the best on the team. I don't even know how that's possible, but it happened. Oh man, not more Nuketown. I, I guess I'll play. What the f? No sky? Huh? Oh, there it is. Whose is that? 
It's yours. <laughs> this shit's mo He left it on the train on purpose. I'm taking it anyway. <laughs> you motherfucker! Come on, train, go, 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 go! Train better boom that motherfucker! Boost missile inbound. I wonder if that's his or not. <laughs> I didn't get it, did I? I, I didn't. Wow. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the Black Ops Cold War and Warzone Season 3 leaks along with a little bit of Black Ops Cold War Chili Dog Corn bread i used a bad sniper okay but with that being said i really do hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did and you're excited for season three and the warzone live event make sure to drop a like i'll see you guys later i don't need it i don't need it i don't i don't i don't i don't need a die bitch. <laughs>